Knock them all down. What's up you guys, Tech Chucker here. I was recently challenged by none other than Sandman PR Vlog to a build a figure challenge. Basically the idea with this is, is to showcase your build a figure collection and answer a few questions. I've got I've got the questions right here so that I don't forget them. But I do want to note first the guy that started this is Mr. Venom Fang. Go check out his channel. I'll make sure I'll leave a link in the description for both Sandman and for Venom Fang. Go check them out. They're really cool guys. They've got really cool channels. I've been following them for quite some time. They've been following me for quite some time. Here's the deal. What's the deal with the box? What is the deal with the box? The box. Um, most of you, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, I've had my collection mostly at my work. So I had to bring some of these home because I also have some Build-A-Figures here at home. And if I'm being honest, I don't really know how many Build-A-Figures I have. So this box is far bigger than it really needed to be. It's only about about half full so the box is half full so let's go ahead oh geez it's heavy let's drop this down and let's just start going through the collection and we'll go through the five I believe it's five questions question number one what was my first build a figure my first build a figure that I finished first was Groot from volume one, Guardians of the Galaxy Wave. This is basically what got me started. Um, I really like this one. The face is kind of dumb, but I really like it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out a few more of the Build-A-Figures that I've got. I've got my Sasquatch from the Deadpool Wave, the first Deadpool Wave. I really like this guy. I think it, it's much better than I expected. And then from the Civil War Wave, we've got and I'm not pulling these out really in any order of how I got them or when I got them. I'm just pulling them out based off of where they are in the box. So we've got the giant man from the Civil War wave. This guy, I don't really consider him a Build-A-Figure because I bought him as a you know single carded figure, but uh, he is basically a re-release, so Ares. And so this guy, I had finished Apocalypse and I needed money. I needed to get some money. So I had to do away with my Gladiator and my Multiple Man to get some money back. So this, uh, this guy no longer is completed. He was completed for a little while. No longer complete, which is a bummer. Next up, I've got the original Ultron. Prime from the Ant, what is it, Ant-Man wave? Was it the Ant-Man wave? I forget what wave that was called. Um, and now they're doing these back as a single card with better paint, which is a bit disappointing. But I'm glad I didn't pay, I didn't overpay to get those parts. So that's good. And next up, I've got Odin from the Odinson wave i also have the part so that he can be the king thor but i prefer odin over the king thor so what is that right now one two three four five six i'm not gonna count apocalypse what else do we got we've got man thing which i actually am quite surprised with how much i like this one i, I think hasbro did a really nice job with that so let's talk what character do i want to see next we'll just kind of filter some of these questions in. What character do I want to see next? Absolutely my favorite character, not favorite character, but the character I absolutely want to see as a builder fig builder? Oh gosh, as a build a figure uh, is going to be the Watcher. I, I, I really need to have a Watcher. I missed out on the Marvel Select Watcher ages ago and that one looks really awesome. I would love it if Hasbro gave us a Watcher figure to go with my Nova 
figures. That would just be really cool. Moving on, what else do I have here? This is one that I've had for a long time. Not as long as Groot, but the Mandroid figure. This thing is really, really cool. It's, I don't know, I just really like it. It just needs some paint. If it had a little more paint, that would be awesome. All right, all right, what else do we got? What else do we have? Uh, that one I'll save for next. All right, then we've got from the Juggernaut Wave, Juggernaut. This is a really cool figure. I'm so glad that I have this. When I heard that they were announcing this, I was so excited. Now, I do still have the Marvel Select one, and I love both of them for different reasons. Clearly, this one for the articulation. The other one for the sculpt. Oh, and then another big guy here, Rhino. This is also a really, really fun figure. Just love this thing to death. So glad I got it. And from what I understand, he's going to be a single carded Walmart exclusive re-release is what I had heard. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard that. And let's check the questions. What do you want to see more of in Build-A-Figures? I want to see more accessories. I would love to see every Build-A-Figure comes with, at a minimum, an additional head sculpt and or one weapon. And if it's a character that doesn't really have weapons, then they would have additional hands, alternate hands of some sort. So minimum of an alternate head and set of hands or weapon. That's what I'd like to see more of. And obviously just in some respects, better characters. All right, let's keep moving. We've got Space Venom. This actually, even though I don't, you know, I read a little bit of this character. Ouch, that hurt. I don't know a lot about it, but it's a really cool Build-A-Figure. It's very simple, it's got great articulation. Um, you know, I don't know, it's just good, I like it. Oh, least favorite Build-A-Figure. Absorbing Man, he's my least favorite. It's really, I mean, I like the character, and it's actually a decent Build-A-Figure, but just character-wise and, and what have you, it's just not amazing to me, so, you know, whatever, it is what it is. I still like it, you know, I got it pretty cheap because I got the one or two figures that were slightly harder to get in the wave right away. And I believe I even got them at a discount. Good Lord, you're not, one of the issues that I don't like about him is he can be a little difficult to stand, but I'm having mostly issues because this table is really wobbly. Next up, let's see what we've got. So this is technically the re-release, the single carded version. I have almost finished the original Build-A-Figure of the Thanos, but I'm not going to finish it because I have this guy now, and this is a better color paint job, and it's just kind of not that awesome of a figure. I like it, but it doesn't warrant the price tag that people have on, on uh, eBay and whatnot. All right, we're still going. This is one of my more favorite Abelda figures, and it's basically just the exact same thing as the Absorbing Man. But the Sandman is awesome, except my arm, yeah, it doesn't stay. This one's a little better, but the other one is terrible. But I, I love this one. And we got, this is, this is the one that I, I just was super impressed with, that we got alternate hands, which equate to weapons, and we got an alternate head sculpt. How cool is that? That is how it should be. And then we've got Gladiator Hulk. This thing is just sick. I, I love this thing. I've got the Mezco Gladiator Hulk on pre-order, and all I have to say is for the price tag, that thing darn well better be way better than this. And then, ooh, he's dusty. Next up, we've got the Hulkbuster. This would be my absolute favorite Build-A-Figure, except there's one more. There's one more in my collection that I like even more than this, but this Hulkbuster is an amazing figure. If you do not have this, I highly recommend you go find it. You could find most of the parts pretty darn inexpensive. Last but not least, the question of top five baths. Let's actually go 
from five to number one because I haven't shown you number one yet. Let's go, top five. What do we got here? I haven't actually selected my fifth favorite. I'm gonna say Rhino. Rhino is my fifth favorite. Fourth favorite is gonna be Juggernaut. Third favorite, Gladiator Hulk. In second place is going to be Hulkbuster. And my absolute favorite Build-A-Figure, my Toy Biz Galactus. This thing is sick. It is so awesome. I got this off of a Facebook group. I think I paid 65 bucks shipped for him. And he is awesome. Now there are some issues with it, but I just don't even care. So number one favorite, Galactus. Number two, Hulkbuster. Number three favorite, Gladiator Hulk. Number four favorite, Juggernaut. And number five favorite is Rhino. There we have it. Let's do a count to see. Oh, we've got group falling over. Come on, dude, stand up. All right, let's count them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 Build-A-Figures. And then if I ever finish Apocalypse again, I'll have 17. Dang, I didn't know I had that many. Sweet. Okay, now it's time I need to challenge some other folks. Now, I haven't talked to these guys. I don't know if they'll actually even see the video. They typically do watch my videos pretty regularly, so... And I know they collect Marvel Legends. Stardog Challenge, Doodog Reviews. Uh, Doodog has an awesome collection, and I'd love to see what kind of Build-A-Figures he has. I think that would be really cool. Plastic Madden, of course, he is... He's the DC Prophet, but he also has a lot of build awesome guy so if you haven't checked out his channel or Doodog's channel go check them out and then last but not least is Nathan Simmons now I know that Nathan's been kind of transferring or transitioning away from Marvel Legends but I'm pretty certain he still has some build figures so those are the three that I am challenging Doodog reviews check his channel Plastic Attic go check out his channel and Nathan Simmons go check out their channels I hope you enjoyed this let me know what your favorite build a figure is and you know what? If you want to do the challenge too, consider yourself challenged. Again, make sure you go check out Venom Fang's channel and go check out Sandman. Check out all of their channels. Make sure you give them a like, give them a subscribe, comment on their videos. And you know what? Do the same for mine. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I'd love to know what your favorite Build-A-Figure is. What's your, actually, why don't you answer the questions too? Maybe you don't want to do the YouTube stuff. Answer the question. What was your first Build-A-Figure? What character do you want next as a Build-A-Figure? What do you want to see more of in Build-A-Figures? And what's your least favorite Build-A-Figure? And then your top five. Go ahead and answer them all in the comment. I'd love to hear it. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, I'll see you later. Knock it off.